Welcome back to Easy Codes for Kids. My name is Stephanie Sutton. On July 4th and 5th of my Giant July STEM game review, we are gonna be talking about Tetris puzzles, so physical puzzles made from that awesome game that we used to play online, or at least my age group did. And we are also gonna be talking about Dash and Dot robots. So Tetris puzzles are gonna be um, very inexpensive puzzles. They're easy to take places. You cannot put these puzzles together in a car, on a plane, um, in a small area. I definitely um, have my students spread out. The same with Dash and Dot robots. You use an app on your phone to control the robot. It's so much fun. We're gonna preview both the Tetris puzzle and the Dash and Dot as July fourth and fifth and you need room for each of these to run with your students either at home in libraries or in your classroom um, they are stem based so the students are using their minds to logically step through and create the tetris puzzle the dash and dot robot you have an app on your phone and then you move the robot around you can make them make noises you can do little patterns with them, you can turn them, you can do all kinds of different things using a code called Blockly. If you have used Scratch, Blockly is a lot like Scratch in that it is a drag and drop program. So for July 4th and 5th, we have Tetris, Puzzles, and Dash and Dot Robots. I hope you love them. Stay tuned, you will see them coming up. You will see me playing with them. With the Tetris, I did a little stop motion, which is a fun extension activity if you want to do that. So all you basically do is just take a picture of every puzzle piece that you put in, and you can actually make them look as if they're moving by taking the puzzle piece and just moving it a little bit into its correct position. And then the dash and dot, I had my 16 year old and my nine year old review that. And so you're gonna see them and hear them talking and um, see where their minds are as far as making the dash and dot robots do different things. So I hope you love this review. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and don't forget, for the rest of July, we are reviewing STEM games for your classroom, your home, or your library. It's up to you. See you soon. What are you doing? Um, I'm adding more stuff so he... To your program? Yeah. So to make him can, move? Yes, yeah, it's, it's so fun. Okay, like, let's... So he can like turn and stuff. Let's try it out. Okay. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh! I didn't know it could make that noise. Minka, what's happening? <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, watch out, it's really on a roll now. Cool. Was that fun? Ah! Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
sirens. Damn. It's okay. It's very resilient. So you can like do different. You can make them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then, like, sideways and then forward. <gasps> Maybe then, not make him go so fast. You're yeah. showing how you Yeah, can... and then you can lower by doing this. And this so it goes is the slower. slowest. And then you can make his head move. And then you can light up his eyes and... See, look, you can make his eyes dark and light up. Mm -hmm. And then, see, look, and then once you press them um, again, they light back oh, up. Oh, that's cool. Like like yeah. headlights on a car, and you can yeah, make them almost. dimmer. And you can make them really white, and then dark, white, white, darker, 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 dark. Cool.